Hi everyone, it's Laura and welcome to Low Intensity Strength Training. It's great to have you. Today you're going to need two weights and I encourage you today to try heavier weights than you normally try. So I have a, a heavier weight for my upper body and a mid-sized weight for my upper body as well. I really want you to challenge yourself today. This is strength training. And so we're only gonna go for 30 second bursts today. So I wanna give you the opportunity to really build some strength here. Um, so challenge yourself if you're able to today, I encourage it. All right, we are, like I said, grabbing those, those weights, mid weight, heavier weight, challenge yourself. We're gonna be doing two work blocks today. Each work block has four exercises. And we're going to be doing some um, basic strength training moves, some squats, pushes, pulls, and then some core as well. So let's start on hands and knees. Grab those fingers out. Let's rock back, hips to heels. My toes are tucked here, stretching out the bottom of my feet, that plantar fascia, all the little muscles in the bottom of the foot. Nice. And then you're going to pause with your hips above your knees and your shoulders above your wrists. And you're going to reach out opposite arm, opposite leg into a bird dog. Notice here that my spine stays neutral and that I'm fighting the rotation that my body might want to do. I'm not worrying so much about the height of the arms and legs as I aim about the spinal position, my core staying strong. One more on each side, you're doing great. Warming things up here, let's go back to those rocks. And after just a couple here, I'm gonna have you take your left leg out to the side and then rock back. So it looks very similar, except now this leg's out to the side. And as I go forward and back, I'm warming up that hip in a different position. Just two more rocks. Go nice and slow. Notice how your, your hips feel in there. And let's take the other leg out to the side and do the same thing. A few rocks here. Keep it moving. Notice if there's any sticky spots as you go forward and back. One more back. Bring the legs together again. Let's just get a couple cat cows in here. Getting that spine moving. Most of us tend to be locked up in that mid to upper back. Let's do a little warm up to get that mid to upper back moving a little bit. Give me a slight bend in your elbows, and then that's what all your arms are gonna move here. You're gonna keep that stack shoulders over wrists, and then bring your shoulder blades together, and then pull your shoulder blades apart by pushing into the floor. So we relax, let the torso move in between the shoulders, shoulder blades come together, push into the floor, and feel your shoulder blades spread apart. So this is like a mini cat cow concentrated on the area in between the shoulder blades, an area that doesn't get moved all that much. It's a small, it can be really, really small motion. And notice if your elbows wanna bend and straighten here. I've practiced this probably more than most people have. So I'm pretty good at keeping my elbows straight, but if you notice that yours are wanting to bend as you do this little, mini push up in between the shoulder blades, it's okay. All right, let's shift the hips back, bring the hands back to the knees, and go into a low squat as low as you can go, heels up or heels down, and stand up. We're then gonna walk the hands forward into a plank, drop the knees down, bend the hips down, and push that sternum forward, look up toward the ceiling, and 
reverse all that sternum back, hips up, knees up, walk the hands back and stand, reach up overhead. You can give a little back bend if it feels good. And then same thing, walk the hands out. Excellent, hold, bend the knees down, hips toward the floor, sternum forward, look up just a little bit. And then reverse that look down, chest up, hips up, knees up, walk the hands back, stand and reach, little bend, back bend if it feels good. One more time, walk the hands out, hold for a moment, knees down, hips forward. Think about leaning with your pu pubic bone as you do that. And then Sternum forward, head up just a little bit. And reverse head down. Sternum pulls it up, hips up, knees up, walk back. And reach up overhead, do the little back arch if it feels good. And then you can come down. I hope you're ready here. Remember, each exercise in this, we've got two work blocks. This first block has four exercises. And again, I encourage you, if you don't feel comfortable starting with the heavy weight, have it nearby for the second and third rounds, perhaps, but you can start a little bit lighter, but I encourage, I'll keep encouraging you to go heavy. All right, grab your weight. We'll get going here. All right, we're going to hold the weight right in front. We're doing a goblet squat here. If you can, touch your elbows to your knees. If that range of motion is available to you. I'll go from the side view as well. Can you touch your elbows to your knees? And if you can't, it's all right. Just still working on that squat. The weight is up in your hands like a goblet. Good. Keep that weight if it's available. You're gonna have one, I'm gonna have my left leg forward, right leg back, rowing with my right arm. Now we're doing a little bit heavier weight perhaps today, maybe starting with your mid weight instead of the light weight. 30 seconds on this arm. The nice thing about doing single arm is that you can use your other hand to help you. So even though we're going heavier, you might be able to just give that arm just a little bit of help. Let's switch sides. Now my right leg forward, left leg back, rowing with the right arm. Find that kind of comfortable spot. If you don't need help from the right arm, you can use, just put a little weight in that right arm. If you have a chair at home, you can put your hand on the chair instead. 10 seconds left, doing great. Almost there. We set the weight down, move to the floor. We're gonna do a plank here. I'm gonna, Go on my hands and toes here. You might go on your knees if that feels more comfortable. You could do a countertop or a wall as well. Find that appropriate challenge level and always give a little bend to your elbows. If you're like me, you might have a little bit of hyperextending in the elbow. That's not great for the joint. All right, back up to that goblet squat. If you went, did mid weight last time, can you go a little, to your heavier weight? Give it a try, even if it's for 10 seconds. You're doing great. We can do anything for 30 seconds, right? We can at least do goblet squats for 30 seconds. You got it. All right. I'm going to start with my other arm this time. Same rows. Pulling up, lowering down. Nice job. If you are using your heavy weight or even your mid weight and you need to go lighter, go lighter. I want you to maintain your form the whole time. Pulling up that weight up to the waist. Less than 10 seconds left here. You've got this. 
Good. Let's switch sides to the other hand and go. We're flying through this. We're going through one more, through three rounds. We still got that plank to go to finish up round two here. Remember to breathe. We want to do an exhale up, inhale down. There we go. Exhale up, inhale down. Feel the muscles on the back, pulling this up. Good, back to your plank. Got quick transitions today. All right. Find your happy plank. <laughs> Push into the ground. Get really strong without locking out the elbows, though. Keep working here. Nice. Breathe in your plank. No breath holding. Good. One more time with the goblet squat. Choose your weight wisely. Whether that means you need to give yourself a little rest, go for it. Or if that means you're going heavier, you're challenging yourself today during the strength class. A lot of times we pick that lighter weight, we go through the motions. Not today. Five seconds left, you've got this. And let's go to that row. Last set of rows here. Keep breathing. Pull that weight up to your waist. Nice. Keep it moving. Ooh. Exhale up, inhale down. Less than 10 seconds here. You're doing great, looking good. Last one. Yes, switch sides. You've got this, just the plank after this, and then we'll take a nice little water break. Eye on the prize here, finishing this round of rows. 15 seconds left. Oh, I'm feeling it. I stuck with my heavy weight here, and I can do it. But I'm tired. <laughs> you got it. Good. Weight down to the plank. Finish strong. Hold that plank. A little micro bend in the elbows. Now blocking that out. Might come up tucking your tailbone, engaging your upper abs here. Really get your core firing and stabilizing the spine here. You got it, you got it. All right, that's time. Great work, you made it through block number one of your work here. We have another block coming up, grab a drink. All right. We're still going to be doing a squat in this next round of four exercises. We have a lateral squat. We have another single arm press this time for right and left instead of a pull. We'll push and then we'll end on another core exercise for this group. 30 seconds each again, three times around. We're going to start standing up with the weight of your choice and we'll be wide feet. All right, come on up. Weights up here, but now we've got wide feet. We're doing a lateral squat. So you're moving slowly. Can you touch your elbow to the front knee that you're moving toward? And then back to center, upright, switch directions. Sometimes we have some tight hips, which is why we did those rocks for the hips. Hopefully that helped open things up here. Last one, good. We're going down to the floor, laying down, single arm press here. We're pressing up. This one's really nice to do single arm because if you fatigue, you just use that other arm to help you up. Exhale up, inhale down. 
Notice how your core engages differently when you use one side only. Just a couple more seconds. We'll switch hands and go straight over right now to that second side and press. Good. Press up. Try and get at the top of your press, the wrist right over the shoulder. That. Breathe, exhale up, inhale down. If you need to put something under your head here, just a couple more reps. Good. All right, we're going to stay on the floor, but sit up. We're going to hold a boat pose here. So another hold for our core here. There are ways to make this easier, easier here. So you could tap one foot down or you could put both feet down. You could also sit up a little bit more with your feet out so you're not so leaning so far back with the arms out. You could also gently put the hands on the floor. So those are our, our regressions there. But back up for a little more lateral squat. We've got that lateral goblet squat here. Holding here, trying to touch the knee to the elbow but all coming back to upright position every single time. Don't stay down there, come up. Work that full range of motion, or as full as we can get it. If you can't touch the elbow to the knee, it's okay. You can go right where you're comfortable. Good, back to the floor for the chest press. We're down and pressing. I started with my other arm this time. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Good. Keep it up. You've got this. Five seconds left. Switch hands and go. Got that three second transition. Gives us enough time to get there and get started. Keep breathing. Use that other arm if it needs a little help, especially if you're using a weight that your body isn't quite as familiar with. Help yourself press that weight up. Last one. All right, to the boat pose. So last time I had you start here, if, or if we ended here if you needed it, but you can adjust if it feels appropriate. If you want it harder, you extend out the boat a little bit more. That's a little too hard for me. So I'm coming back up. But you can lean back farther, send your legs out farther, and it's more core work. You're doing great. All right, back up to that lateral squat. Let's go, last time around. You've got this. Breathe, engage the core. It's a lot of core work here with this weight in the front. And remember, you can always put the weight down completely. Find, challenge yourself, but find the appropriate challenge where you can still have good technique. Good. That's time to the floor. Last set of presses. If you didn't, if you've been starting on the same side, start on the other side. Inhale down. Exhale up. Find that stack of the arms. Good. I like to feel my core work on these, on these presses. Almost there. Got one more, come on. And switch sides. And go. Is there one side that feels easier or harder for you? Keep working. By like doing this work, you're evening out your strength a little bit, even though you may be dominant on one side, a little bit stronger on one side. 
Keep at it. Connect with the breath. Nice. And last one here with that boat pose. Finding your happy boat. What kind of boat are you on today? I imagine that I'm on a, a canoe, just floating, a very peaceful stream here. Even though I'm shaking, I don't know if you can tell in the picture, but I'm shaking right now. Maybe you are too. Holy, we just got we have less than 10 seconds here. You got this. Stay strong. All right, we did it. That's time. All right, let's keep moving a little bit here. Let's go into our rocking position and take the leg out to the side. We're going to finish a bit how we, we started here. This leg out rock. <sighs> How'd you do? How'd it feel? Were you able to go a little bit heavier? I hope so. But check in with yourself. Ask yourself those questions. Could have you got done more? And we'll stay back here. Stretch out that inner thigh. You can let the head hang a little bit. Also get a stretch for the back of the neck. All right, let's go to the other side. Knee down, other leg out, and rocking back. Go at your pace. We go too fast sometimes that everything can get a little bit uh, kind of yell at you, <laughs> if you will. It'll let you know if it's uncomfortable. Just stay within that slow zone so you can catch anything in case you're moving into discomfort. Nice, and let's stay back here. You can look down towards your mat in between the hands and the knee. And lengthen the back of the neck and then let it hang. Get a nice stretch for the back of the neck and the upper back. Very good. Let's bring both knees to the ground and do a little cat cow. Nice. Go ahead. All right, we're gonna do two versions of windshield wipers here. We're gonna do them with our hips and then our shoulders. So we'll, I've got two wipers for you. All right, so we're standing, the hands are to the side or a little bit back behind you. We're gonna take the legs side to side. Nice. I'm only going as far as my hip joint will go. I'm not letting my pelvis pick up off the floor. It's okay if your pelvis picks up off the floor, but by keeping both, both of your sit bones down on the ground, we really stretch out the muscles around the hip. Nice, let's hold to one side for a little bit. See if you can get your muscles to let go. Switch sides. Hold for a little bit. <sighs> nice. All right, let's do a little, if you can find it, if you can find a cross-legged or seated position that's comfortable for you, even if that means putting something under your hips, that's fine. So now we're gonna do windshield wiper for the shoulder. We're gonna put the elbows together. Hi there. <laughs> and the pinkies, palms face you, pinkies next to each other. Ideally on this, we lift and the arm, the upper arm is parallel to the ground when we pull our pinkies away. I'll do the front version of this as well. But it's a gentle stretch for the shoulders and the forearms. Hope you're still working on this. I'll show you from the front view. Hello. My son would say peekaboo. 
<laughs> All right. If your elbows are down a little lower and you get a stretch there, that's great. Notice too what your thumbs like to do. Can you stretch your thumbs out as far away from each other as possible, those thumb tips? And can you keep your shoulders away from your ears? Good, all right. Take your hands back behind you and open up the front of the chest. Look up toward the ceiling. Big breath, breathing into the sternum. Nice. And then you can come back here. Let's take the legs out in front, but bring your left leg in toward the other. Give it a big hug. So if your hug's out here, that's fine. You're probably still feeling a stretch right where I want it. Give that leg a hug bringing it in as close as possible. Trying to let those muscles relax. Notice if your hugging of the leg caused your shoulders to creep up. Let's try and release some tension that happens in that upper trap inside of the neck. And switch sides. Bring the second leg in. Can we get the muscles around the hip and of the leg to let go a little bit? Nice. And we're gonna let that leg go. Take the legs out into a V sit. Again, I encourage you to put something under your hips if you feel like your posture isn't great. It'll help with the posture. Um, but we're going to that V sit leaning forward from the hips if it's available. And also if you need it, if you already feel a stretch in your V-set, you don't need to go forward because you're already stretching. It doesn't have to feel like you're being pulled apart when you stretch. Nice deep breaths. If you are leaning forward, sit up again, lean to the right. Stretching out the side of the body. And then lean to the left, stretching out the right side of the body. And all right, we made it through. Thanks for being here for low intensity strength training. I really hope you enjoyed today's session. And if you do come back and watch it again on the YouTube channel, I challenge you to go heavier with your weights and keep pushing yourself to build strength. All right, see you next time.